Good evening and welcome to season two, episode eight of Once Upon a Time in the Old World. Uh, we had a week off last week due to a couple of our fellows being off on their holidays. Um, but we're back uh, in anger this week. Um, I am uh, the Games Master, Jim, and these are my uh, merry horde of players. Uh, hi, I'm Roger. I'm playing uh, Johan von Erfinder. I'm definitely awake. Um, I haven't spent my XP this week, hence I've literally just grabbed that off the shelf. <laughs> hey, I'm Aaron, and I am the human knight of Ulrich. Hagen, Ritter von Delbers, also did not spend any experience points. So I'm saving it up for something special. Hey, boy, gum. Ibi, Wardek, Pit Fighter Extraordinaire, and Dowie. Hi, I'm Colin. I'm playing Carolyn Redmacher, and I spent 100 XP on somehow mysteriously learning to read and write while adventuring through the sewers. I'm not entirely sure how that happened. Maybe we can work it in into this session. <laughs> Can just magically absorb the information. That's an A. <laughs> That's well, we did a have a we did have a long trip from Ubersreich here, so I mean, we could have been teaching you over time. <laughs> yeah, uh, bizarrely, one of the most literate woofer parties ever. Oh, I yeah. <laughs> uh, hi all. Uh, I'm Dan, and I'm playing Ilmaring, the Elven envoy diplomat, and now general <laughs> mess fixer. When Dowie go kicking in noble doors, just I hope so. Um, you know, so just be aware that that's my new job. Whether it's well, whether it's the Dowie or whether it's the human who's about to kick down the door and cause trouble, I, I can't quite remember where everyone was, but all I remember is that oh my! I God. remember very clearly the Dowie barreling through the door. That okay. is true. Cool. As the guards and... were going, don't do that. Well, one of the beautiful things is I did just get confirmation from Cubicle 7 that my Altdorf book shipped today. So if we have to flee Middenheim, <laughs> <laughs> we've got a place to go. <laughs> Ilmarin's got family in Altdorf. We can, we can go crash at his place. Yeah, it could be an idea. <laughs> a couple so, of excommunicated Ulrich, former Ulrich followers and... Uh... <laughs> So first of all, let me apologise to the viewers. I have forgotten my glasses at work today, so a lot of the NPCs are going to be squinting heavily at the screen. You've probably seen my face up like that, uh, but I'm sure that that's a bonus. Um, secondly, we've had a week off, so I'm just getting back into what happened and when it did. Um, but I believe we have two of our group at the Temple of Ulrich in the priest quarters. Um, and... They're just about to have a conversation regarding um, corruption, would you say, um, with the uh, the head priest. And then we've got uh, um, Mordek, uh, Johan, um, Ilmarin at the other location, which is at the Lady Nack's husband, who is called Baron Gunther von Yaganaka, um, and I believe uh, they are suggesting that the Baron is indeed a filthy spy for the Ebon Blade, and that they intend to um, confront him with the fact they've already had an attempt to, the bedroom door, door got slammed, there's a few of the party's friends who travelled to Middenheim with them behind, um, and they're trying to calm them down. And I believe Mordek will go to you to start with and we'll just go to just ask you once again what you just said you were going to do. Yep. Mordek be crashing down the door. <laughs> <laughs> I believe we made the rolls, didn't we? And yeah. you, were, you, you, you were through yeah, the it door. Was a, yeah, it was through the door. Okay, so the, the rest of the group, yeah. Um, you see almost Mordek go almost ball-like as he, he sort of rolls himself through the door. And it stands no chance. There's splinters everywhere. Uh, there's bits of door hanging off the hinges. The other bits are all over the floor. And he sort of 
comes up onto his feet and he's sort of facing towards you lot. Uh, and he, he sort of has this bit of a blank expression on his face, but it's also a look of glee in his eyes. Um, <laughs> and you can almost hear an uncomfortable <laughs> silence behind you. Yeah. And sort of guess that the guards are, are like a gas at the moment, but you can guess at any moment now, they're going to be going for something in their, um, holding compartments on their bodies, otherwise known as scabbards. Um, yeah, so the door splinters. And Baron von Jagernacker sits up in bed, uh, and so does the lady Nacht, and he screams across the room, What on earth are you doing? Hey, oh, I apologise, my lord, I slipped. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You hear the swords get unsheathed from behind you. Okay. And they, they they shout, Halt in the name of Baron von Yakanaka. I'll hold my hands up. If the if the Baroness is if she's okay, if she looks fine in bed, there's no signs of violence or is she upset in any way, is she been crying or anything like that? She doesn't look it. Apart from the fact that she's in distress because a because mad dwarf just, just came bursting through the door. Yeah. Does no, she I look still, okay? She looks okay, yeah. yeah. In which case, I surrender. Okay. I'll turn around to the lads with my hands up and go, I'll surrender. <laughs> okay, a couple of the guards passed, uh, pushed past uh, Ilmarin and Johan and sort of grab hold of you, one pulls a set of uh, manacles out of his um, uh, pouches and he manacles or try, he attempts to manacle I'm not, your... I'm not resisting. Okay. And you're led down the stairs. Again, they push past you. That's uh, Young man and Ilmarin. Ilmarin should like... be paying for my door? I'll point at the elf. <laughs> yeah, two hands come up at that point. <laughs> Imaran well, is using his very good eyesight to see if either of them have one of those necklaces on we now know of yeah I'll be trying to glance around the room to see if I can see anything that would Excellent. indicate the Ebon Blade claim good show lads because right now that's the only thing that's going to save more deck from a life in prison there doesn't seem to be any sort of evidence of murder cult anywhere. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> what heck, what have you done? <laughs> I told you, I've got a backup idea for a character. <laughs> <laughs> but I've got a plan. It's okay, I've got a plan. I'm just trying to see if any of my skills... Does that plan include out? shaving your head and taking the Slayer's Oath? You've, you've got etiquette. <laughs> well, I've, to talk, I've got, talk our way out of it. I've got etiquette noble and blather. I feel like these two need to be used combined right now. I'm just reading blather because I've never actually used it despite being one of my uh, skills. Okay. I'm not going to make you roll this. I'm going to make you role play it. Oh, that's so even worse. I, want... I was not prepared for that. Yeah, so I want you... <laughs> to explain what's happened and a reason for them to let more that go. <laughs> it's almost That's as a... if we were doing a roleplay game. <laughs> I was not prepared to be... <laughs> All right, uh, okay. Uh, uh, Lord Yaganaka, um, it has come to our attention... That's baron! Baron! I'm not a lord, I'm a baron. Uh, um, okay. Uh, baron. Uh, is, lord, is Lord or Baron higher? Mr. Yaganaka. Are you trying to wind me up? No, no, I'm genuinely inquiring. Look at look at the point he is. I'm not from around here. Um, so I don't know the differences in your, in your system. Take that stinky dwarf away. Yeah, yeah, actually that's a good idea. Take the stinky dwarf away. He does smell. He's not great to be in this in upstairs. Um, who you be calling stinky, he's stinky, yeah. take him downstairs, <laughs> take him downstairs, please. You're you're upsetting the baron. So, Baron, um, as you can see, our, our dwarven friend here was just testing the security of your door. It, it fell short. Um, obviously, but I duty... already come out and I told you to leave. You did, but we were concerned for the Lady Yaganaka. Lady Nact, even. Sorry, she's not Yaganaka yet, is she? Uh, so, um, 
Yeah, so we were testing the security of your door, and obviously it's failed. And also the re- reaction time of your guards, and they have also failed. You know, if we were assassins, you'd be dead now. Isn't that true? Well, it could be. Exactly. So actually what we discovered tonight is a failing in the security, and it, it's our place now to improve that security for you. Why you may think he is smelly. My door, yes. Yeah, absolutely. We're not only going to fix your door, we're going to get you a door that should this happen again, a dowry will not be able to roll through your door. Okay, well, you've got until the end of tomorrow night to fix this door, or I'll make sure your Darren, or whatever he's called, yes, gets thrown into the deepest, darkest dungeon that there is in Middenheim. Yeah, and I've heard there's some pretty deep sewers down there. Uh, I've heard that too, Baron. And to be honest, he would not smell out of place in those places. I can tell you that for nothing. Um, so, uh, yes, so we, we hope that this has shown you tonight that, uh, that there's some lack of securities. I would suggest that you double your guard. Um, and uh, Lady Nact, if you are ever in need of us again, please feel free to call us. And uh, Ilmarin gives the most flouncy, flouncy bow you've ever seen. And then slowly, like, walks out backwards whilst bowing at the same time. Uh- Elmarin says the lady that. Um, yes. When you fix the door, I expect a full explanation of what's gone on there tonight. Of course, Your Grace. Feel free to stop by and we will be happy to explain. Um, while he's having this conversation, can I be assessing the damage to the door to see what I can do to fix it? Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's what? <laughs> other than putting a new door on it and maybe a new frame to the door as well, there's not a lot you can do. This house is quite a nice house, but as in a lot of the other buildings in, in Midnight, apart from the outer wall, yeah, a lot of the inner walls and, and uh, aren't the best made, yeah. And it, it don't, it, it, you'd have a guess that Mordek could probably run through one of the walls. Um, don't but, you yeah, it's, it, it's not the best. <laughs> it's not the best. Uh, so, uh, apologies. Uh, we will leave you to the rest of your evening. And um, thank you. Thank us for improving your security. Good evening. <laughs> and like, Ilmarin gives like a, a shift, like swift, like almost like and you know like the turn like and then marches out <laughs> like, like like he's just not bullshitted his way out of that <laughs> and yeah you're, you're shown out by the guards and the guards unmanacle the dwarf downstairs while, when he's outside and they sort of hand him over to Johan yeah uh, not to you Ilmarin um, your ears are far too Pointy. sharp at the top, yeah, to, <laughs> to after a door. Um, and, and sort of hand him over and give him, they sort of give you the look, Johan, that you really ought to look after him or they're not going to be so forgiving next time. I yeah, mean, I'll kind, of, I'll kind of pass them a shilling and go, cheers for being understanding, uh, guys. Uh, go get yourself a, a drink. Friendship or two only goes so far, Johan, remember that. Well, hopefully the drinks will help a little bit. Gentlemen, however, a concern was real. We did receive information, so please just keep an eye on the Lady Nact for us. Okay. Right, well, now, Mordek, we've got to go find a doorsmith or whatever you call them to fix a bloody door. Did you, did you young lads, um, be finding anything in the room um, whilst... M- 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 the Baroness and the Baron were, li- were uh, distracted. No, Mordic. There was nothing to insinuate that the Baron was involved in a murder cult. And she was, and she'd be all right. She seemed okay. In fact, she seemed very normal and very Lady Nact like. And I see the bits of door that was swinging in the sort of doorway, and your very slim frame, and the bits of wood that have been plastered everywhere, and then the guards around you manically. They didn't really get to see a lot, to be fair. There was a quick couple of quick scans around, but yeah, nothing. Plan, the plan B of working fine, then. We got to check on the lady, and we got to check to see if they were part of the death cult. More importantly, we get to come back and fix the door. Okay. We do. We'll, that, that, we'll come back that was and my assess intention. it tomorrow. Not, not with you, Mordek. I don't think yes. that would go well. No, no. You, Mordek, you can wait outside. 
And we'll leave you there at the gate of the, the front of the house. And we'll go over to a quiet but very sinister uh, um, church of Ulrich, where there is the uh, den master and a, another... It Was it a priest or was it the knight? It was a, no, it was, a, it was a priest. It was a priest, that's priest. It. Um, it was sitting there, they're having a laugh, and then they were interrupted by uh, Carolyn and um, Hagen, who burst in through the door, and Hagen has his suspicions that one of them, or even both of them, may be wearing some sort of... Um, Necklace, magical necklace, maybe, or something. And to which they took offence to that and shoved themselves up to the other side of the table, and they're sort of standing ready. With he's pulled out a hammer, and the other one's pulled out a bit of a mace. Um, and yeah, they're, they're, they're standing like they can look after themselves. <laughs> the, the, so the priest of Ulrich, I would hope so. <laughs> uh, Hagen puts his hammer down and kneels before uh, the Den Father. He's like, Den Father Heinrich, I am a true son of Ulrich. I only ask you in brotherhood to think of what has happened here. The Ebon Blade has taken refuge in our temple. The key to the front door. We know that Aglith dark elf leader of the blade has created amulets that subvert the will of those who will even if they do not know that they have them on all i will ask you father is to do what i will do and he says i will put my weapon down i will take my armor off bear my chest to you you can see i wear an amulet all i ask from you and the good priest is that you do the same so that together the four of us can find a way to stop the Ebon Blade, whose mission is to raid Arthur and unleash hell on midnight. And he sinks back on his heels and starts undoing the straps to his uh, breastplate. All right, well... Uh, I suggest you go home for the evening and sleep it off. We do not wish to war with our brothers, but I suggest that the insults do not fly anymore. I, th- I mean no insult. I'm simply looking to protect us all, Den Father. From I walk from the Ebon Blade, from Maglith, the dark elf who has uh, been a stern, and from the cult of Nurgle, whose last night we faced in the sewers and barely escaped with our lives. There are agencies acting against us here, and all I wish is for us to make a united front. Well, there's absolutely nothing to worry about at the moment. Um, I'll get some uh, of the Brotherhood back in and we'll, we'll, we'll fortify the uh, uh, the temple tonight and uh, well, maybe we could meet in the morning yes fair enough Din Father I apologize for bursting in on your evening but I felt you were a danger yeah and a member of the Iron uh, Blade had just tried to had just locked the door of the temple. We have we have caretakers to the, the temple. If they mess with any of our holy artifacts, then they would face the wrath of Ulrich. Uh, you know, we, we must have faith in the protection that Ulrich holds over this place. As you say, Den Father, we will be Ulrich's hammer in this. And Oh, Hagen will get up, bow, and then walk back out of his room, office. And they both look towards Carolyn. Carolyn will follow. 
Carolyn will take the things that they were going to be delivering to the Den Father when they came here, and not be de <laughs> leaving them behind. Yes. I don't think they've actually discussed what it was that they'd brought. Oh sure. no, we didn't mention that. Yeah, no, because we has, burst she right has in. a big satchel of stuff that she's yeah. then picking up and taking back out. Again. Pagan looks over to Carolyn and whispers, "Clearly, we cannot trust any of the leadership in the church. Something is going on here. I think they've potentially been subverted. We'll have to keep an eye on the temple ourselves. I'm afraid. If Ulrich is to win in this war, we will have to be vigilant." They shut the door behind you, and you wear a key turn around in the lock, and it, it becomes locked. Short of going to war with the Den Father, I don't think there's anything we can do here to... You, you just stood in, like, the, the main mm -hmm. worship area where all the pews are, and the, uh, the old that had been made is being slowly made better, um, repaired and patched up um, to a very good standard. It does have to be said. Um, yeah, you just sort of left alone in this big empty area. Very quiet. I am going to set down the satchel of goods. <laughs> I want to have a look around here. I want to have a look around here for any signs that this place has been desecrated okay so what what are you looking for Carolyn? i'm checking that the temple is as the temple should be that the the holy symbols are as they should be that there are no symbols of cain or uh, anything like that um that have been added that 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 you know i'm not <laughs> uh, I'm not expecting to find anything obvious, so I'm probably not going to find anything because Carolyn is not the most. <laughs> there is something that you do notice as you look around, and that is the fact that there is no permanent altar at the moment. So there's no, but, but there's like um, sort of some make do crates that have got a really expensive looking wolf skin over the top of it and but it looks like that it's um put away overnight and you know uh, whatever you, you know you, you you can remember seeing it in the day and the they did look some rather expensive uh paraphernalia on there um you know to do with Ulrich um maybe a couple of nice statues of wolves um yeah but yeah, the, you know, the, the, there's a that you could you could remember seeing quite a nice painted um, portrait of an old priest of Auric. Maybe it was one of the Den Fathers before uh, the current one um, on there. But yeah, none of that's around. So to be perfectly fair, other than you know, even paintings that are on the wall and. Um, uh, parchments and tapestries and things they have all been cleaned away as well because you know it, it's it's um, the middle of almost the construction site so yeah, yeah. You know, the, some of these the things that you would ex expect to see in the temple uh, are quite ancient and quite old and fragile and things so it would be the correct thing but you know it sort of makes you uncomfortable almost in the fact that you are in a room you know it's a temple of Ulrich but but there's no sign of him. No, there's not. This place, she'll say she'll say to to Hagen, look around this place. They've you taken... know, obviously the pews are carved in you know wolves' heads and some of the woodwork mm. and that. You know, some of the permanent features are still there, but anything that can be removed has been removed. But it could be quite a reasonable explanation because yeah. of all the building. Work. Yeah, yeah. They've taken the temple out of the temple. There's right, nothing. Carolyn. It just no feels altar, like... No No home. Is, is your connection... Are you able to consecrate some aspect of the building with your 
prayers. I, I apologize. So unfamiliar uh, with the pre I don't think I'd know where to start. I mean, I could pray. I could try and call Ulvik's gaze to this place, but to consecrate a, a temple, to consecrate something worthy of him, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know how to. Mm, I understand. It's, it's, there's a sickness in the city, and I fear that it's boiling up into our church. And at this moment, I don't know when we can fight it. There are too few of us. They are too strong city. If they've got Perhaps, control of the nobility, we are in a lot of trouble. Mm. Perhaps we should go back to the inn and, and <clears throat> meet up with the others. Keep what we found with us. Apparently, there'll be no safer place in Middenheim than with us. We can't keep carrying every piece of warpstone and every artifact. And That's true, but Obviously, the, moment... the only other thing in the temple is it's sort of roped off, but there's the big looks quite a big coffin that is draped with like that black silky cloth uh, the same cloth that uh, we found yeah yeah that <laughs> so yeah. uh H hagen will approach the the covered coffin and and try to see if there's anything out of out of the ordinary or unexpected you know signs of anyone who moved it or Carolyn will ready her shield <laughs> She's not entirely comfortable about that thing. So it's it's a big stone sort of coffin, and there's signs of uh, age on it. Um, both of you make me a perception roll, please. Not my strong suit. Give me a shot. Oh no, that's a big old failure. I've just seen your success for the door, uh, Morgan. Sorry, plus five. I don't remember. <laughs> yes, that door. door. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I failed uh, by less than Hagen. Okay, so I will. Uh, I've got a re-roll. I've got a roll, and okay. I will go ahead and use it just in case. I think this might be important. Yeah, my perception. And just... uh, even worse. <laughs> <laughs> my perception story is so bad; it's not worth me re-rolling. <laughs> Again, sees nothing. Okay. So, it's coffin. It's damaged. And you would expect it to be sealed or look sealed, but it does look like there is quite a gap around the lid and the actual body of the, the, the coffin itself. But everything else just looks normal. Carolyn does look as if the coffin has been opened. That gives me pause. Should we investigate it further, just you and I? And as you stand there holding this cloth, as you've pulled it back a bit, almost a cold, cold breeze blows over you, almost. There's a foulness here. I can feel it blowing across us. Not the not the pure cold of Ulrich's winter. It's a it's a more horrible chill. What do you think, my friend? I think we should leave it. I don't want to give and she sort of gives a half nod towards the, the locked door. Any reason to... Any more reason to... Okay. Well, perhaps... Perhaps the others have had more luck with Lady Notch, and we might have an ally in the nobility who can help us get to the bottom of this. Let's return to the inn and, and see if the lady is there with them. 
I am sure with Ilmarin and Johan's skills, they have convinced her to our side. Yeah, so, uh, I hope over, so. Over, the two, over the two encounters, I think Carolyn and Hagen dealt with yours quite quickly, really. Yeah, there was a bit of a confrontation, and you know, you, you sort of talked it down, which was great. Whereas there was a bit of jostling at the other one and going upstairs and smashing through a door and getting arrested and yeah so you two get back to the the tavern um our tour rises um before the others okay sure and you're greeted by gunter the chef stood outside with his uh new blunderbuss that he got him and he looks really worried Gunter, what what's the problem Well, I would expect him Franz back by now, but he's not come back. Where yeah. did he go? Um, one, one of one of your friends came and, and, and said uh, uh, that you, you needed him. One of and our friends. You, yeah, um, he, he said he'd, he'd come on behalf of uh, one of, one of the people who was helping you. Which friend? Describe. Um, he, he, he named him. Um, um, Please don't tell me it was the big cheese. Ra- uh, <laughs> Rankle von Franzorn. Oh, no. The Baron Franzorn. Uh, I don't know whether I need reminding OC or IC as well, but who? <laughs> uh, that's the uh, Chaos Knight of Nurgle. If I remember it's, right, he says it's really odd as well because, yeah, look, look in here. He shows you inside, um, in the, inn. um, there's like a little pathway from the door to the bar, and it's sort of outside a little bit as well. Now you're looking of tiny little mushrooms and mm. and bits of moss and uh, as if they've grown out the floor almost. Uh, they almost okay. seem to be, you know, they, they seem to be going through a life cycle quite quickly. The rot. Gunter, put a mask on, gloves, tear those floorboards out, Just burn them. Do not take your mask off. When the others return, we will see if we can find Franz. Did he, did our friend say where they were going? Uh, they said that you were in trouble down in the, the, the sewer. We had been down in the sewer, yes. Is that where they returned to? I don't know. He, he, he left. He, he Well, we agreed between us that I would stay here. Um, but... Um, the the the, uh, um, the guards captain. She's not back neither. Um, she 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 um, she left earlier and is not back. Where Hunter. did she go? Well, after after Franz had gone, she she you know said that she was worried, which made me even more worried. And then she like left after to to look for him. Gunter, unless you see one of us come to you, know this. We have no friends in Middenheim. All blades are turned against us at this point. Unless the Lady Notch comes to our aid, do not leave this establishment. And when we bring Franz back, we must prepare this inn for war. Okay. Okay. I feel like there should be an A-team moment there where we kind of, you know, do the sequence of pimping everything out to battle. <laughs> and at that moment, from down the street to the theme of da, 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 uh, <laughs> comes Mordek and he's sort of... Oh, dear. He's almost at the front of the <clears throat> two, almost... It's like he's being marched to the naughty step, almost. Uh, <laughs> uh, something quite similar. As they're walking back to, towards the seven. 
Mordor, bubbly, you've, bubbly. Got, you've got splinters in your beard. What, what have you been up to? <laughs> That's a very good question, Hagen. What have you been up to, Mordek? Bit redecorating. <laughs> is the lady is the lady Notch on her way? You'll get uh, that look if you don't want to know from Johan. Oh, oh, the lady Nacht was not on her way. No, 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 no. That bridge is thoroughly burnt, as you humans like to say. <clears throat> well, we believe the Church of Ulrich may be compromised by the Ebon Blade and the chaos knight that we faced earlier has apparently taken Franz and the guard captain has disappeared as well. Wow, the list of people we can rely on has significantly dwindled and I always thought that we would not be relying on (laughs) Franz and Gunther. Time time out. Isn't the elf supposed to say our list of allies grows thin? (laughs) (laughs) Sorry. Sorry. Never apologise. So what we're saying is we <clears throat> are in a den of thieves, murderers, and liars and chaos with no allies, no idea what to do now, because I can see you, Carolyn, you are carrying a very large sack, which is to me that your meeting didn't go quite as well as it should have either. You are not wrong, Ilmar. And as I said, I believe the church may be compromised by those medallions. When I confronted the den, I confronted the den father and asked him, explained to him, and then supplicated myself before him, asking for him to prove that he was not wearing one of these medallions. And he all but struck us with his hammer. He agreed to allow us to return tomorrow to discuss it, but I am concerned that they may already be under the sway of the Ebon Blade in Marloth. Um, well. The fact that someone citing the Ebon Blade's cause was locking the damn doors as we approached. That yes, is that, true as well. That seems pretty damning in terms of evidence. Um, that individual met my hammer and unfortunately I crushed him into a paste upon the on the steps of the temple before we could question him I, I mean just as a point Hagen that's generally what happens when you question someone I, not to not, not to throw insult no that's you're very yeah. handy in in a lot of situations however when we need to question someone less so I must I should work on that perhaps we should approach the witch hunters of Sigmar and see if we can make allies with them. The, Sig- the head of the Sigmar Church was off at some big meeting with all the kinds of people that the Evan Blade would be trying to get control of in one place, where I'm sure there's some some uh, generous soul is giving out fancy commemorative amulets to everyone. Uh, you could be right, Karen. So I don't does... think we're going to get much help from there. I don't know what we can do, because... What about your order, Hagen? Surely you have a house, barracks, whatever you humans like to call it here. Aye, but the, the chapter house, but the den father himself has stated there is no concern. I don't think, I, I do not have the authority to rouse the knights. I'm not even a first knight myself and an outsider. I... <clears throat> okay. At times like this, we elves like to look at the what we have on the plate, as you humans would, might say. We look at the facts. What we have is no evidence. We have a claim of a Chaos Knight who clearly has just stolen two of our friends. Um, we have no evidence other than we have retrieved the relics. However, we're now no longer confident on who we can give those to. I hate to say it, but our situation looks bleak. And I'm saying that as a point of view as a, an elf. And we are generally bleak about a lot of things. But our situation is bleak. And we have to pay for a new door. And we have to pay for a new door that Mordek destroyed and ruined any chance we may have had of having an ally in the nobility. Uh, looking at the front door of our tavern, how does that compare to the door of... <laughs> I was going to be doing the same thing with the doors inside. <laughs> that keeps me... <laughs> It is. It is a heavy. Remember, you had it. You had it fitted with a heavy oak door. Yeah, we've yeah. still got the. We've still got the other door. Yeah, sure. But this door is 
slightly bigger than an interior door. Uh, it is thicker than an interior door. I'm talking door. about the old one, not the new one. Oh, the, the old one, yeah. It's about the same size, because it fit the same door. <laughs> you could probably cut it down, but you as an engineer, you know, would realise that it wouldn't look the best, probably, yeah. And, you know, looking around at the furnishings and the decor and... Yeah, they're the not going to accept some bang-up old door, are they? The house. I might it be able look, to start it up. You know, quite, yeah, affluent. Well, you could do. You could try and start it up with a little bit of paint and, you know, a bit of varnish. Elaborate and, carving and some paint. Yeah, maybe get someone to do some carving. I believe that Carolyn's good at carving. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I seem to recall that, that Johan yeah. did, did a very impressive carving. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Well, uh, the immediate concern is, what do we do about Franz? We don't even know where they've taken him, do we? Um, I look down at the trail of mushrooms. Uh, you, you notice that, that they're about dead now, and they're sort of crumbling away into... <sighs> Like a putty, and then it, it like a dust. You, as you sort of go along the actual trail, you know, you can see, you know, it, it, as if this new life bursts into, you know, place, and then it's slowly gone. Well, not slowly, it's very, very fast, quickly. Gone through, yeah, gone through its uh, goes through its cycle. life cycle, dies, and rots is, away. Tonight. Is there more outside where they left? It looks like the, the, there has been some, and it looks like, yeah, but it, it's. Whether it's because it's outside or, or not, it, do, it, it does seem to not have been so, um, be so um, visual as inside. I mean, we could, in theory, follow it. How long ago did they leave? Uh, a couple of hours ago. Well, it's How the does only... that align with the time when we emerged from the sewers? Yeah, it, it, you, you probably sort of guessed that it was like three hours ago when, you, you know, you'd sort of okay. got up and, and run in that. Yep. It's possible that if someone followed you directly, um, you know, if they have got maybe, I don't know, a bit of a beef with you or anything, and they followed you, um, no, they could, yeah, it, it, it yep. would yep. work out. It, it would work out right as he came here and... Yeah. So we have a trail to follow. That trail don't go to... Sorry, my accent went all over the place. <laughs> hey, oh. <laughs> don't, don't worry, Russell Crowe. <laughs> hey, oh. That, that uh, trail don't be going back into the sewers, does it? No well, idea. We don't, we we don't know more, Dick. We haven't followed it. Our tavern. I was like, is that, isn't that where we just ran away from? Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. It is. The trail think... does look like it's going to the way that you went towards the sewer. <clears throat> I'm just saying it now. If that goes back into the sewer, we will hold a very nice funeral for Franz. I'm um, not going back in there. I think I I would, um, but I had a large lump of stone <laughs> land on me. Yes, and also, yeah, me and Mordek, hit points wise, are not looking too healthy. <laughs> we haven't had time to rest or recover. We could follow the trail, see where it goes, and then go in the morning. Yes, after our friends have been corrupted by chaos hey. and are dead. Hey, Paul Myron, if they look like if 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 they're corrupted, these should, young uh, manlings grant them Sigmar's mercy or Ulrichs. But yes, I think we follow the trail. But if it leads back into the sewers, we're not in any position to take the fight to them right now. They've already had a two-hour head start. We'll follow, but what what time is it out of character? Um, it's probably ten about... to nine. <laughs> <laughs> out of character. <laughs> it's probably about <laughs> ten, ten o'clock ish, okay, evening or morning. Um, Night, evening. <clears throat> yeah, they were in bed. The lady Notch in there. Oh yeah, valid point. Yeah. Then I shall use my acute elven eyes to follow the trail and lead everybody on. <clears throat> to our doom. 
So I, I told you I'm not going down. Neil Murray is not going down. He is he is banged up still. He is not in a good place. No, no, no. Yeah. I know. I know. What should I do with this big sack of stuff? Well, take it with us. <laughs> There's no safer location right now. We literally have nowhere yeah. to put it. Yeah. <sighs> okay. We can't trust the Ulrich Church. We can't <clears throat> trust the Chapter House. We can't trust the nobles there's only one i've missed off of this very long list of people we can't trust now i, th- I think city. It's, 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 it's like the city itself <laughs> i mean in all fairness i'm an elf so i can't really trust anyone because everyone seems to dislike us yeah, but i was going to say the same thing and that we can't trust elves you can't trust <laughs> elves i know i do you know what mordek i'm with you there was an elf <laughs> in that tunnel and he was not a good elf Don't trust elves. You can trust me, of course. And you can trust sure. my family. <laughs> so basically, we can't trust anyone. And remind me while I'm still here. I mean, not leaving the city. I've 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 heard this time of year, Old Dwarf is pretty nice. Well, is anybody up to second sight uh, ability? None of us are wizards. I'm pretty sure it's a wizard thing. thing. It's a wizard thing, yeah. Gerhard, where are you? I'm just making sure, because we do have a dodgy... He's probably dead. (laughs) Gerhard's probably been killed by something by now, or, you know, handed a tome of evil magics. I was about to say, he's probably been corrupted. (laughs) Totally corrupted. (laughs) One of the two. He's either gotten full chaos sorcerer, or he's dead, I think. (laughs) Yeah, unfortunately, I have night vision, sixth sense, and acute senses, perception, eye, sight. So I'm afraid I have nothing in terms of magicalness because I'm not a magic elf. As you're sort of standing in... Uh, I think we're, we're walking and talking. I think we're walking, we're following the trail. Are you walking and talking following the... the... Yeah. Yeah, yeah you, you follow it. It, does, it. it sort of gives way about halfway there, but you're sort of guessing that... It, you know, it is quite a good guess that it, it, it has headed back to that sewer system again. Right. Well, we were in no shape to tackle the Baron and that demon, even at our best. So I think we repair back to the end, fortify it, try to get some rest and see what we can make of this in the morning. I don't put much stock in it, but is there a place where the sisters of Shayala might be hanging out? He says, like, you see him, like, sort of working the wounds and stuff on his body. There'd be some sort of holy house, or there'd be be some sort of... I mean, our luck at trusting temples hasn't been particularly strong. No, but... The temple did all right by you last time. Who, However, who they was got do mangled. Hate, Hagen, I think. They yep. do hate the Lord of the Plague. Yes. Yes, this is true. So one thing you do notice that wasn't there on the way there last time is there looks like there's been some subsidence. And <laughs> there even looks like there's a couple of sinkholes in, in a couple of the streets to, towards there. So you, you're sort of guessing there's been some major movement under the, under the street. <laughs> That's not a guess. <laughs> we know there was some major movement under the streets. <laughs> we were Explosions, running away from it. <laughs> giant fat demon. <laughs> yes, okay, we were causing some of this and running away from the rest. I mean, I could have not blown the hole in the wall if you'd prefer. Absolutely required to blow the hole in the wall. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, so... Speaking I- of, I need to buy more gunpowder. Myron is going to go find the temple of Shayala and go hang out with the ladies while they patch him up. <laughs> I'll, I'll go with him then because I need some patching up as well. <laughs> okay. You find, you, find, you find the temple open and um, yeah, you're greeted by some very kindly sisters. Uh, there's also an acolyte there as well who's Generally keeping things clean and dusted, and, so and they, probably... they can see you're in quite a state actually at the moment. Don't you? you look like you've been 
hit by a, a big left. sword. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, he looks a bit more like an Egyptian mummy at this point. He's got a lot of bandages around him. Camry, it's Camry in mine. Um, <laughs> yeah, so they they t- take you in and sort of start to work their work. I mean. And Mordek as well, I think. Yeah. Is yeah, the um, Ilmarin obviously strikes up conversation as he always does because he likes to learn things and, and talk to me. But he asks if the abbess is there. Uh, no, she she's uh, uh, at, uh she she had to go to a meeting to do with uh, ne- next week's festivities. Sisters, what do you know of the Chaos God Nurgle? We'd prefer not for you not to name um, the father of filth in here. Okay, the, should we call him the Earth Father? That's his chaotic. That's his name in your books. Um, what do you know of him, and how do you feel about him? Well. His corruption embodied it. Uh, all, all that you know, he stands for should be wiped out. I'm glad to hear you say. Although this. there are some that says that he is the embodiment of life and new, new, new birth, and well, you know. one one could say the cycle of life is is living, dying, decay, and then round again. It's a it's a great big circle. However, um. He accelerates that process in a way. Um, however, semantics, of course. Um, uh, we have reason to believe. That, in fact, me and my Dowie friend here got these injuries fighting a a uh, a follower, should we say, a Baron? And I repeat his name because I can't say it because I'm not that good at talking. Um, Baron Franz Frandel. Franz on. Franz on. Yeah. Yeah. They- uh, they sort of reel back from you a little bit. Okay. Uh, so what? As if, as if to say, they recoil at his name, as I mentioned his name. No, as you say that, you know, you took some of the wounds from uh, a Nurgle acolyte. You didn't get or... injured fighting the Nurgle acolyte. You got no. cut apart by an. I, I got. I got. I got. Uh, yeah, I got cut by an elf. I know, Kin Strife, we're really good at it. And my Dowie friend got crushed by a rock. But in amongst all of that, there was an evil follower of Nurgle. And he lives in the Undercity, and his name is Baron blah, 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 I just said. Um, and, uh, yeah, well, he's in the city. And, well, we have some relics that we need to keep safe. And, actually, I believe that the Sisters of Sharla are the perfect place to hide these relics. We're not willing to, especially... With that rabbit's not here, we're not willing to take any. I thought you might say that. that. Come, that <laughs> come from the father of filth. Oh no, the relics are not from the father of the filth. Um, they're from. We would feel uncomfortable taking them after what you've just told us. No, that's fair. I, I understand. Maybe I should learn to give less information. Anyway, <laughs> and then to... she goes back and she sort of puts some leather gloves on. And she comes back carrying a, a small file. She says, I suggest um, you take that in the morning. Um, if you're feeling okay by um, by tomorrow night, maybe you could come back and see the abbess herself. Our skills are very lowly, as you know, we are only on the first rung of the ladder of faith. Oh, you, um, you should have more faith in yourself, sister. You've done a fine job. I'm feeling better already. Isn't that right, Mordek? You're feeling better already, right? You'll probably be feeling a lot. Looks himself up there better. <laughs> One of them does point out that Mordek might not be feeling the best because there's quite a it, from the side, it's not been obvious because he's got quite bulky arms and whatever, but part of his arm or his breastplate has been crushed probably by this big rock and he's sort of shoving into his, his ribs. He yeah, but he's, he's obviously high on adrenaline and and, um, and um, chaos corruption. No, not really. 
Um, <laughs> and you know, he, he, he's just been finding things. It's chain of leather. And at the end of the day, you know, I've been, I've so got flexible. that big land on you as basically, you know, it hurts everywhere anyway. But she, you know, she points out maybe you should take that off and sort of knock it back into shape. <laughs> it's all and flexible. You're, hand, you're sort of handed at length uh, a, a bottle, a small, like a, a small file. But it's, it's got a pinky red liquid in there. Don't worry, sisters. I know he smells terrible, but he's not corrupted in any way, shape or form. The smell isn't what bothers us. Like I say, we are on but the first drum uh, in our faith. Uh, but you know, us Stowey path, folk we don't be skills. as corruptible as you young little manlings. But I, I will know. take I've your heard, vial with gratitude, I've just heard in lots case. Of, lots of things about the dwarf kind being very corruptible by gold. That'd be a different story. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to deny it? <laughs> well, uh, sisters, we thank you for your kindness and the vials, and we will take them. Where are the rest of you going? Are you all uh, going to? I think we would have gone back to the inn. Probably. Yeah. Or, uh, yeah. Okay. I'll spend a bit of time trying to see if I can put some intricate carving on the, the spare door. Okay. And and Hagen would do a thorough search of the inn and the inn's grounds to make sure that uh, nothing was left behind by our visitors who convinced Franz to leave with them. Okay. So through the doorway of this small but um, perfectly formed temple, a place of tranquility is it's just something Hagen bursts through the door quick we need to go Ulrich's teeth <laughs> it's all going down yeah we've we've found Franz sorry Hagen what we found Franz I've, I've, I've left Joanne and uh, uh, Carolyn fighting down there You're not Hagen. Hagen would never leave anyone behind. Make me. Can I do an intuition roll? Yeah, make it an art. Um... Ooh. Difficult. Difficult, okay. Can I roll it as well? Yeah. Yeah, nah. you've got a reroll. <laughs> um, I've got two <laughs> rerolls, I think. Yep, yep. Then I shall reroll. So, what was the roll? Uh, difficult Our, hard intuition. intuition. Oh, yeah. Oh, god damn you, Foundry. I don't want to speak too soon, but at least it's been stable for you this week, though. Nice. Impressive success. Four success levels. I'm going to poke him with my sword now. <laughs> <laughs> he does oh look like Hagen to the point of he looks identical to Hagen here with his clothes, with everything that he wears, with almost every mannerism. But there is there is this thing <clears throat> that you've noticed through your time with Hagen. Um, and that that is that every now and again, whether it's a a vanity thing or whatever, but on, on one of Hagen's gauntlets, the, the metal clad gauntlets, you can often catch him sort of every now and again, just sort of looking and looking at himself in the shiny sort of surface. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, it's probably probably something he never even notices himself yet. But you know, it, Hagen's beard is always like, even though he doesn't take time into making it sort of, but it, it, it's there. It's perfect. It's you know, he always seems he maintains to be... his heroic bearing. Yes, yeah. He, he but... is a he is a pretty princess. <laughs> you, you, you've struggled to put your finger on it, but Hagen hasn't done that since you, you've been talking to him, and it does seem a little weird. But he sounds like Hagen. He's got everything that Hagen's wearing on. And, you know, he, the way he's talking to you is 
you know, like an excited, worried Hagen. Um, I mean, <laughs> I, they fell I'm... through one of the sinkholes. Imara's like, hey, uh, Hagen, sorry, I think you've dropped something just over there. Can you just grab it for me? I'm, I'm still not feeling quite right from my last fight. If you just grab that for me. He looks over to where you're looking. Where, where you're and pointing. as he turns back, my sword is at his chest. <laughs> you, okay. you, sir, are not Hagen, though I'm interested to know who you are. Uh, what? The, I'm going to look very confused because I completely failed my role. <laughs> Uh, but I don't sort of think that's the sort of thing I would be re-rolling. <laughs> yeah, he, not surprising. You sort of raise your sword, and yes, it is quite close to him, but you, you, you know, it, you are a distance. You've not sort of got, got right up to him where you are, but you have raised your sword towards him. He hasn't drawn his sword at all, or his hammer. Uh, he hasn't shouted hammers on it or anything yet. If he was carrying a uh, sword, then you'd definitely yeah. know it wasn't. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. One more thing. Uh, Am I getting a warm, fuzzy feeling from the hammer nearby? <laughs> that I'm used to feeling in the presence of Hammerzite. Um, yeah, well, to be perfectly fair, you're getting a warm, fuzzy feeling from what you've just been through in the last sort of couple of hours. <laughs> mm, yeah. You. you know, maybe, maybe it is down to what you've been given and what you've taken that's making you feel a little bit weird towards Hagen. Mordek, you're definitely putting it down to this. It's just... Ulrich's teeth. Put your blade down. What are you pointing at that for? It's me, Hagen. Hey, you, up, sir. Hey, up, Ilmar. And what be getting into you, lad? Mordek, if there's ever a time... I've never asked this of you before. But if there's ever a time I'm asking this of you, you need to trust me. I know it's difficult... I know I'm a pointy-eared git in your eyes. If you don't believe this is me, not Hagen. Uh, ask yeah. me, ask me something only I would know. Oh yeah, only something only Hagen would know. I don't know anything only Hagen would know. <laughs> but I know one thing Hagen does, and you have not done it since the moment you came in this room, sir. Do you want to venture a guess at what that might be? He sort of this his... absolutely catches Mordek's attention when he said this. Yeah, yeah, you're intrigued by what he's going to say. Now. Oh, absolutely. Care to venture a guess? Not Hagen? You're really worrying me now, Elmarin. Are you going to venture a guess, yes or you, no? You didn't hold on to that mace, did you? Mordek, did he hold on to that mace? No. Well, I'll tell you what, if you're really our Hagen, you won't mind walking back to the inn with us. Of course I would. Let's go then. Are you going to put your sword away? Absolutely not. I'm going to march you all the way to the inn. Elmarin, you're worrying me now, and I would hate to think that you have been corrupted by... Do you know what? That filth that was down there. You can keep trying that, mate. Buddy, pal. But you are not Hagen. And I know for a fact you're not Hagen. And I can't wait to explain how I know you're not Hagen. But we'll let real Hagen smash you in the head with I'm his I'm not going first. anywhere with you like this. And I fear for Mordek as well. Yeah. <laughs> See, real Hagen, real Hagen would not fear for Mordek, knowing full well that Mordek could quite easily handle me in a combat. So yeah, you, sir, are Mordek, not Hagen. Mordek, See, Mordek do you trust me? Mordek has gone past that with you, yeah? Your friends. Are, honestly, you know, we are all friends. Yep. I think I'll be needing a drink. <laughs> you always need a drink, Mordek. Look, this be far weapons, too complicated for me. I, I do not, you know, intend on doing anything. You know, is he holding his hands up like this with bare hands out? No, he, he's sort of just no, no. He, he's got he's got armor on. <laughs> he's got any exposed skin that I can see. Um, yeah, I'm going to nick his skin. If it bleeds, we can kill it. <laughs> This is the, Ilmari knows this is not Aiken. He knows for a fact. I wrote a form into it. And I know for a fact this is not Aiken. Okay. What is your initiative? 47. Okay. So if this moves faster than me, I'd know for a fact it's not Aiken. That's you true. go to nick it and he moves his hand back really quickly. But I will say this, Ilmari, and in the back of your head, says, yeah, yeah, he did move quicker than me. But he has 
caught you up a great deal over your months of adventuring together. And he, he has, you know, you, you've almost been he's, jealous. He's got closer. Of, he's got closer, his, his but he hasn't pressure. overtaken me just yet. Yeah. And, it, <laughs> and Elven know, Pride it, wouldn't allow it. <laughs> well, maybe he just has. He definitely moved before you could put him. <laughs> Absolutely not. Il- Ilmarin now has moved from a, a cocky, wavy stance to a full-on guard stance now. He intends to run this, whatever this is, through. He had absolutely no intention of negotiating with whatever this is. Mordek, draw your axe. I think this is one of the brothers. Hey, what you are, lad. <laughs> what, one of the shadow? Yeah. And he, he, Aigen draws Hamazite and he, he, he stood there with Hamazon. Are we still on holy ground? I mean, are, we, are we still in the church? Technically, yes. Yes, he's in the doorway. He stepped, well, actually, he's actually stepped back from the doorway because Hamazon, he couldn't really swing that round and, without light. Like, yeah. mm. Now just to stare off. We are insane, nothing now. Hopefully that potion that we were given gave me some hit points because I'm screwed otherwise. <laughs> I was about to say, did we get any hit you've, points back? You've gained four hit points each. Oh. Back. <laughs> That's better than nothing right now. <laughs> but you can't. You, you're feeling you're almost getting better. So you, you, you guess after a, you know a good night's rest that, that might improve. Mm-hmm. One of the priestesses said, "Would you mind putting your weapons down, please, sister?" You are Stressed not off. an aggressor. Yes, this man hasn't drawn his weapon until just now. Um, sister, you can definitely see this man, right? Yes. Good. It's not your weird potion that's done this to me. That's okay. That's a good start. I mean, we don't come across as slightly bad anyway. But I mean, just add- we're an elf and a we're an elf and a dwarf holding a holding a human <laughs> blade point. Um, what, sister, this is not our friend. He claims to be our friend, but he has some subtle, subtle differences that if you hadn't been traveling with someone on the road for a very long length of time, you wouldn't even notice it. But I know for a fact that this creature, also, in the past, we've had creatures pose as people we know and our friends. I don't think I don't remember that. And he like kind of <laughs> eyeballs this creature who's trying to claim to be Hagen in front of him. <laughs> Sister, do you have anything that you can use to like push back the power of chaos? Holy oh, water or anything like that? I'm not sure. I'm entirely comfortable with you. Ray, you, you said yourself you'd mixed with Nurgle. And just, now you're... Just, 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 right, look, you have probably something here that just banishes chaos or something like that because you guys are holy people. Pour it on me, and we'll see that I don't get all fizzly, fuzzly, whatever happens when you pour stuff like that on chaos, and then pour it we on You know him. that corruption doesn't work that overtly. Oh, for crying out. Gods. Of all my gods, and all of your gods. And he's just going to lunge at this Hagen. <laughs> he's, right. he's, he's fed up now. He's, he's lunging. Okay. okay. You lunge towards him. Which you, uh, do, I, do you want me to he roll? He moves first and sort of steps back and then he forces Hammerzite, like, not in a, a swing, but in a blow towards you, towards you, trying to knock you back. Hold on a second. Just let me... Crunch. Yeah, I mean, if I get hit by ham- uh, the real Hammerzite, I'm dead. I'm hoping this is not the real Hammerzite. <laughs> Are you saying you're corrupt? Well, as far as I know, it's not the real Hammerzite. <laughs> I'm just waiting for What this. I really want is for Jim to do all this and then flip to us and leave. To- <laughs> and then go, Hagen, so how was that conversation for you? What? <laughs> okay. And somehow oh. lead to, actually, yeah, that did happen. That was Hagen. <laughs> Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Oof. And as normal, my rolls are. <laughs> oh. I'm going to use my second reroll. I think you might yep, want yep, to. Yep, yep. yep. Oh, Do nice. It. Yep. <laughs> dodge it. Yeah, you you uh, you sort of dodge out of his lunge and you get to hit back. 
Yeah, do I have advantage now? You do. Are we, are we essentially in combat? <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. Yeah. You succeeded the the dodge, so you have an advantage from that. Morda, you're totally confused Thanks. by this. Yeah, they both look like they're your friends. Um, Doctor Spock hasn't got his air parted on the left hand side <laughs> or the right. Yeah, um, and his name is Mister Spock. Anyway, um, it, it, this is one of the weirdest things you've seen since half your family fought each other. Uh, yeah. This is one of the weirdest I... things you've seen since this morning. I was going to yeah. say the same <laughs> thing, mate. You took it right out of my mouth. <laughs> since we fought a giant fat demon and you rolled through a door. Okay. Was, I, got, I got a success. You got a success? Okay. Yeah, to hit you. I'm, I'm waiting to see uh, how that hit goes before I decide if I need to do anything with it. Oh. oh. <laughs> sort of batted to one side. I, I might use a fortune to re-roll here because I need to. I need to get him to bleed. I'm going to re-roll. You're going to need to roll hope. very, very well to beat. Did a you remember plus to add four. your advantage? Yeah, I did remember to add my advantage. Uh, no, it doesn't seem to have added it. Why has it not added it? Yeah, actually, yeah, because I should have plus ten on that. Cause, yeah, under combat, that... have you put your advantage? Yeah, in I've that? got advantage one, but why is it not picking up my pro? My weapon skill is 45, so it should be 55 at that point, shouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Why is he not picking that up? Oh, I don't know. We'll add, we'll add, we'll add five to it, whatever it is. Yeah! Yes! Oh, it's added there. Okay, cool. It's added it there. Weird. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's what your armor value? Nine, nine damage. Duelist. What's your armor value on the body, Hagen? Uh, the my armor on my body is hold on combat tab. Uh, on the body is uh, I've got a toughness of four and an armor of four, so the armor is four. Okay, excellent. Okay, you you, you sort of, you lean forward and you sort of cut him just below the neck here, and yeah, and he he reels back. <sighs> Damn it, Another advantage. <laughs> You're probably going to want to. I'm like, I'm like, see? The real Hagen would have turned my blade aside with ease. And he lunges for you again. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. You've got another, you've got another advantage. You want uh, two advantage. Nice. <laughs> so you both get plus three. Uh, so it'd be the higher skill, which would be Elmarin, because of the advantage. Yes. Yep. You bat is. No, he dodged. I dodged. Oh, I, I dodged. never. I never parry. <laughs> I've got no parry skill. <laughs> Dodging okay. is where the elves live. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, okay. yeah. He's going to turn advantage. it. Advantage. Yeah. Advantage. Woo! Okay, we shall wait to see. Okay. Why Again, does Jim keep throwing like hard things at me. <laughs> <laughs> no, for well, my character is not a combat character. Excuse me, he, he I was wasn't about before. To say that I've never <laughs> threw my hard thing at you. Yeah, <laughs> right. Okay, right. Um, oh okay. dear. Again, you go towards the body, and it, you get through the armor, but you just manage to nick. Again, nothing major. Yeah. And he comes from more that you know you can see this happening. Ilmarin is being very aggressive. Hagen seems to be the less aggressive, but Hagen's now beginning to fight back. He swings again. Okay, gotta dodge this. Gotta dodge. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Yeah. Dodge, duck, and dive. I got three advantage now, so yeah. Only just. <laughs> What's our cap on advantage? Less at close this point? than the last five. Five alive. Five so alive. I, think you're well, now I, on your cap. I, I, I am on my cap. Yeah, that's just uh, taking me to my cap. Nice. <laughs> 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 
bastard trousers. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, 19, 19 damage. damage. 19 damage. It's gonna sting. I've got uh, three armor on my right leg. Yeah, he, he reels back with that. Does this show evidence of anything else that is not a armored human? No. God, I hope I'm not actually killing Hagen because that's the <laughs> worst thing ever. I hope not too, because <laughs> I like Hagen. <laughs> it would be rather embarrassing if you killed Hagen because you decided you didn't believe the GM. Hey up, right, both of you, put your swords up. Put your blades up. No more violence. <laughs> Wait, and that, I, I'm now imagining them both turning on Mordek. Going, That's not Mordek. <laughs> now, Manly points at him. If you be ye, then you be telling me what was the last thing you told us when we saw you before we came here, like. As in came here to midnight or came here uh, came here to the as came well, here to the flouncy nuns are sorry Told my lady. You to be careful what did you say about the priests of the wolf uh, there are lots of them <laughs> I'm gonna smack him. Yes. <laughs> now it's two on one. <laughs> Do I get advantage if it's two on one? You no, it's like... it's a new round of combat. So oh, I'm, at the, I'm, I'm, at, I'm at the bottom then. <laughs> and he is he is now going to. Um, I can't be asked it. So he, I have. He's going to go for. Oh, Mordek, as you draw your sword. He sort of shies away a little bit from Elmari because he's just had a number of attempts to it and he swings at you instead. Okay. Let me just find Hagen's character sheet. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Hagen's built for killing things. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Okay. He swings. I believe in you, Mordek. You can block this or whatever it is skill you have. Okay. Would you like to block it or dodge it? Um, you do have a reroll if you need it. Is parry a talent? Uh, oh, if you can no. defend with your weapon, it's a weapon yeah. skill test. Oh, okay. I'll do with that, yeah, with so, that uh, weapon, you know, it's, it's a com combat test with that yeah, weapon. So skill. melee basic yep. or whatever. That's the thing. I will try and parry. Reroll. Reroll. I will try one of my rerolls. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Really? The, cur the really? curse of the reroll. <laughs> Uh, so that's 14 that. damage. A voice comes through your head, Mordek, as, um, as you sort of go to hit him. It, it almost makes you miss. <gasps> Ooh. Yeah, we'll go with that excuse. <laughs> I'm, I'm not biting into that thing. What? What is it? it from, it's to your head. It, it no, no, no. But I'll, so I'll ask the axe. What be it? It's gone quiet again. Fuck. Use my French. <laughs> okay, so um, how much damage did I take? 14. Uh, 14. Christ. Uh, Toughness and armor? On the arm. On the arm? I do you believe. Six points of damage. 
Oh, does that mean you're still standing? Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Um, Good Cool. So it's now two and one. So then I get a plus yeah. 20 on that as well. Is that a thing? Then you get yeah. an advantage for being two and on one. Uh, yeah. You get plus 20 to hit. On top of your plus five on advantages. Top of advantage. <laughs> yeah. So Imarin is now incensed because you just hit his friend. And, and while he won't always admit it, he actually has a real soft spot for more. Oh, I think so you've he, admitted he, it a number of times. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, you know, he, he likes to still believe that he's indifferent. So actually, Just what he does is the he flurries his attack in, but actually puts himself between Mordek and this creature. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to wait for his roll before I decide whether I need to re-roll that. Wow, that was a poor roll, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's still good. Yeah. It's still plus three, three success levels, yeah. Oh, no, that's fine. That's cool. <laughs> Twelve. Twelve damage. To Come through. the body. To the body. Stay well, away from Mordek. It, most of your most of your blow seems to have took him. It, what you will say is now you've been fighting a while. This thing has got thick skin, especially for a human. If it is a human, yeah, you, you're you, you know you're getting some good blows on onto his actual flesh, and it doesn't seem to be cutting him much. <laughs> Foul spawn of chaos. Okay. More deck. Okay. So I get an advantage because I'm surrounding it, right? Plus no, you plus, plus, 20. plus twenty. Plus twenty. So when do you I do... count as do I did I get enough room to charge it? No, because you're locked, no, you're locked no, into no. combat with it. You get an advantage. No, but it's my first successfully defending yourself though. He didn't successfully. He did successfully. Oh no, I'm, I'm talking nonsense. No, you took yeah. a. So you, 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 just, just, you just make the roll. I was, I was just assuming that because you, Elmarin, would, you were still standing. Elmarin has pushed it, pushed it almost to one side though, as he's jumped in front of you. So you haven't really got a clean blow at said uh, knight of the wolf. You'd have to sort of push past Elmarin. I'll push past Elmarin. That's fine. I'll just push to slightly to the left of him. <laughs> there you go. Have that. <laughs> Bollocks. <laughs> uh, more day. Uh, oh, look. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you, 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 you do some damage. So, how much is that? Uh, 14. Um, 14. However, the, the critical they does they go do through. Crit, yeah. They do crit him. You can crit on a defense one. Uh, so don't forget my plus one strength, uh, plus one bonus for the um, oh, you're for at, the magic yeah. axe. So, so it would be sixteen damage. And more however, takes you're a about crit. to take a crit. I'm about to take a crit. Yeah. yeah. He got a crit on his uh, on his defense. Oh, okay. So I just want to double check if my resolute added an extra point of damage. No, I didn't charge. <laughs> Stunned Ooh. and stunned. Ouch. Yes. Nice. <laughs> it's fine. Ilmarin did all the hard work. Can you please uh, take Harder a hard endurance test, test uh, or gain the unconscious condition uh, as you black out from the path? Uh, what did it say? Unless you, unless you sit, uh, achieve four plus success level. You're also going to have to scream out in agony. Hmm. <laughs> Come on, Mordek. If there's anything you should be able to do, it is endurance. You are a dwarf. Endurance is in the skills <laughs> bit. Don't forget it, say, hard. Yeah, if you succeed, you just can't do anything and you're bleeding heavily. <laughs> more death, more death, more death. Thunder is pretty vicious. No. Oh. Oh. Mordek is unconscious. Mordek will... also takes can... an additional three wounds. Can I? Me. Can I use my um, fortune point? Can. You can sacrifice an armor location to avoid the critical. That's to true. Avoid the, to, to avoid the crit, so Although your armor let... is destroyed instead. Let's be honest. If you're going to get critted anywhere. Getting critted while you're in the Temple of Shalia is probably about as good a place. Uh, as no, I'll use the roll. Can't you use a fate to avoid this as well? Or is that something that's fate? He, would, he could burn a fate point, but it seems a bit overkill. So, what are you going to do? Are you going to 
I'll try a reroll. Oh, you're going to reroll. Okay. I'm going to try a reroll. 37 is just... hard to beat. Well, I'd wait, sacrifice wait, my armor. Wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't spend it. You can spend a fortune point to give yourself a level of success, can't you? You're only minus one. Or is that not a thing? I know, because you're 49 yeah. out of versus 37 on you. I'd, I'd sacrifice my armor and, and negate the critical, because... Remaining in the fight is kind of valuable. Yeah, just sacrifice a piece of your armor. We'll, we'll buy a new armor. Don't worry. Okay, I'll sacrifice a piece of my armor. Okay. What piece? Well, where did he get hit? Yeah, the, the body. body thief, wasn't it? Your, 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 your oh, leather, you have so to your, sacrifice the bit that you got hit. On. Your leather your leather on the body, I guess. I, I will take the leather and then... Yeah, so that's probably ruined. Mm. I still yeah. got my chain and underneath it's, it. It's, it's, it's only... It's only... Stripes down the front of you and... Sort of rips. So how many? It only how many wounds was that? Your, Three. It only, re, it only reduces your armor point by one in that location, though. So it may not completely destroy your armor. It just damages. I it. think it will probably destroy the yeah, leather. leather's only one. Oh, the leather. <laughs> okay. um, how many wounds was it, gents? Sorry, was it? So I think Three. that just completely negates you, the. Yeah. yeah, yeah oh, the whole thing. The oh, okay. No, you did wounds to him. Yes. Yeah. The, the wounds it's, it's you did up. to him was was like he, fifteen. He is staggering about a little bit now. As he goes back in. So, Mordek. So what, where, where does that leave the advantages? I suppose Mordek has uh, Mordek advantage. gains the advantage. Yeah, because yeah, he hit. Okay. <clears throat> Come on, Mordek. Parry this time. And you've been given another re-roll. I believe in you, Mordek. Remember, plus 20 for outnumbering and your advantages. He doesn't get the plus 20 for a defense roll, I don't think. Oh, no, that's right. Not... Okay. At least I don't believe so. Yes. yes. Okay, yes. another advantage, Mordek. Okay, you you smack him with your your axe, and um, the axe sort of lets out a voice in your mind of like him. Uh, you can you can as you cut into this thing, and it bites deep within his body, and this thing falls backwards out into the street. And as it lies there, the form sort of changes and it looks like a beastman, but like a big rat beastman. I would know what Skaven is right, being a Dowie. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> we both do. I didn't know they could do that. I didn't know they could do that. You There's more decks spitting to the floor. <laughs> Ilmar, when the effect comes off him, it's like it's been a spell of some form. Ah, uh, some sort it's of an illusion. Yeah, I'm no mage. But see, see, do you trust me, Mordek? He laughs. <laughs> <laughs> see, sister, I, I, t- I told you, didn't I? I said, can you leave this place now? Violence in here is not. We just protected you from chaos. No, you brought chaos to our doors. But we didn't bring him here. Humans are the same. Thank you. <laughs> what a bunch yes. of ungrateful. Well, thank you, sister, for your healing, which is clearly now no now needed again, my friend. We'll, we'll, we'll be on our way and we'll go have a rest. They're going to a chest and pull out another file that is similar to the one you've got and give you that. Now, if you don't mind. I'm going to go and search the Skaven's body. One of I mean, them already has got a bucket and a, a cloth and is sort of mopping around the floor, scrubbing out where the, the blood is sort of spurted. <laughs> I mean, this is now just Skaven laying in the middle of me now. <laughs> I think we leave it. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it. I'm just going to walk off. But I'll search it first. <laughs> this Skaven, uh, Mordek, it looks more than just the northern. normal Skaven. It, it looks more than, not northern. Oh, more than hey, 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 I'm going to say, he's got a pet whip it in a oh, bag of mush cheese. Yeah. My God. Yeah. No, no. No, it, it's more than. It's more than a normal Skaven. Um, the, the, the armour that it, it's got on, some of the, you know, the bits, it, it's carrying pouches on, on him as well. And he, he looks like a, a grizzled veteran, maybe even a captain of some form or. Hey, Mordek, 
We make a pretty good team, though, right? Are you searching him, did you say? Yes, please. As, a, okay. you know, as I'll be saying, Ilmarin, we have a duty of care to these dim, dare manlings around these parts because they don't half be stupid. So he has roughly, he's got 10 shillings in a bag. Um, I love that. What looks like about 20 human teeth. Um, he has a small. Um, That's the currency of green cloth skins. Doll. Mm-hmm. A what, uh, with pigtails, like a small child's doll with pigtails. Um, uh, there's a, also a nice golden ring in there as well. Um, and there's a, there's two gold coins as well. <gasps> nice. Help pay for the door. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was just thinking that. Right, Mordek, we should probably leave because humans are not accustomed to Skaven and this is going to be a whole big thing in a minute. Yep, let's go. <laughs> we so quickly I go back to the inn. Yeah, we quickly jaunt her away from the scene of what's just happened. <laughs> Gentle jog. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you, you jaunt her back to the inn and as you get there, Johan has made big, make me some engineering roles, uh, Johan. Some crafting roles. I feel like there'd be no need to be a, like a crafting montage. <laughs> Everybody needs a montage up, like he's running playing. Up to the top, took my time, took my chance. <laughs> playing going backwards and forwards. And... <laughs> Sorry, I was of the demon. Uh, I'll oh. use my reroll. <laughs> <laughs> Rising up to the. Ah, there we are. So I did pass. Uh, I'm going to use a fortune point to. Okay. So, okay, yeah, you, you, you oh, it's crafted this door. It's called success level. Yeah. Best damn door you've ever seen. There is something that has occurred to you, though. So, as you're doing it, and you have made a real good job of this door. Oh, no, I, I know the door's the wrong size. I'm basically working in the. <laughs> yeah, and I'll. Trim that is the one thing. You know, it's smaller than the door that you start with, but you're not exactly sure of the dimensions of the door. You know, the, oh, yeah, the, the, the whole I'm I'm going to measure it up and then go for it. Well, you're not trimming it yet. <laughs> yeah. And in through the door, walk a couple of um, demi humans uh, in the shape of a dwarf and an elf. <laughs> if they're not my dwarf and elf. <laughs> Actually, they do look, well, Mordek especially looks like he's not spent any time at all in a, a temple being healed. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Ilmarin does that, yeah. He, he, yeah, he, he's looking, yeah, he's looking rather pleased with himself, to be honest. <laughs> I'm just going to kind of look at Ilmarin and try and gauge whether I think things went well or if more deck happened. <laughs> I love how that's a thing, <laughs> <laughs> and it's totally untrue in this case. Where, where is everybody else, Johan? Falls for once. Uh, that's a good question. Uh, Do we have I like think, a dinner bell that we can ring to bring them all in? I think you know, Hagen's and... around somewhere. Uh, yeah, Hagen. What were you doing, Hagen? You, I believe, you were. So he, Hagen was just he would he would have just spent ten or fifteen minutes, you know, going over the end yeah, and the and the yard. To so the temple of uh, what's it and kicking off with your two mates. Yeah, uh, yeah, that yeah. Was, that was it. Yeah, a little bit of combat with my friends. You know, Hagen so, comes in from out in the kitchen. He's like, Ilmarin, Mordek, you don't look... Did you get, Did you not so, go to the Temple of Sheol? Ilmarin and Mordek, could you make me a very hard willpower roll, please? I'm, if it's to draw my sword on, then I'm going to do that anyway. Okay. <laughs> is it to do that? Yes, it is. It, I'm it, doing it, that. Yeah, no, I'm totally putting my sword it's out. It's almost on, as on a reaction. Him. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this is my name, Morin, and I'm just so good at everything. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, okay, so Ilmarin, he, he just he just sort of leans back on. Il- the Ilmarin's table. feeling cool as a cucumber right now, to be honest. As as Mordek sort of takes his axe out, slams it onto the ground, and gets ready in his best fighting pose. H- Hagen looks at him. He's like, "I am." Uh... 
I'm too tired for, I don't know what's <laughs> going on here. So uh, do you want do you want an ale? Or... More, more deck, hey, I think this ale. is the real one. I think this is the real one. <laughs> How do we know? What? You know, what, what? <laughs> and then while we're talking to him, he suddenly what? looks at himself and he's gauntlet. <laughs> it's, like, it's, de- it's definitely, it's definitely, it's definitely him. Mordek, <laughs> trust me. <laughs> what? It, you it might, it might be another one of them Skaven. No, what? no, I, I honestly don't think this one. I definitely think this one's our one. What Skaven? What are you talking about? Well, we just Hayden, had a fight with you outside. We of... just killed you down yeah. the road. I don't you know, think I've, so. I, I feel like that may be the truth, but. <laughs> After the day we've had, it might have even been preferred, but uh, care to explain further? It was, well, it, it'd be some sort of rap man with a, with an a illusionary spell, on, spell it. on it. Yeah. So we were at the Temple Shiala, you know, making nice there conversations. There is a knock on the tavern door. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> He's it's a it's outside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're accounted for. Oh, my God. <laughs> and there is a very well dressed gentleman with a waxed moustache, no beard. He's got a oh, very God, waxed... God, God, God. and it, it curls. It, it's it, it's a thing of majesty. This this moustache, um, and he stands there. It, it probably Johan, some of the best clothes that you've seen. Yeah, this this man, he, he would. He, he's definitely of nobility or used to be in a round nobility. He, he's definitely of wealth. And like I said, the, the clothes that he is wearing, you know, you almost envy. And he's sort of he, he's standing by the doorway and he, he's got himself a bit of a, a pipe going. And his pipe's just not a normal pipe. It's a pipe that is a rat. Yeah. And the, the rat's sort of reaching up with its mouth and that's where the smoke's coming from. And he's smoking Pipes through the, rat. the, the rat's tail. Well, you can't account for taste. Yeah, nothing dodgy about that at all. I yeah. thought it was going to be the uh, gangster guy, so I got that wrong. <laughs> uh, gentlemen, um, my name is God Sandberg. Um, uh, I am here to speak to uh, Giselle. Who? Giselle? I've been told that she is staying here. I don't You've know. It sounds really incorrectly. familiar, but I cannot remember who it is. Informed incorrectly, sir. We have no one staying here because we are not open in yet. Uh, then I must... Uh, please do not mark me. Um, uh, I've been told that this... Uh, well, I, I know one of my... Uh, Manservants uh, it is definitely confirmed that she stays here. She's definitely is not the lady Nacht he's talking about. Just, just OC. I'm talking oh. about the mistress Giselle Kessler. Yes. Just someone we're supposed to know, or is he genuinely just being an idiot? <laughs> not you, Jim. <laughs> um, oh, I'm... I'm constantly being an idiot. Let me tell you. <laughs> I mean, have I even heard of this person before? Because Johan obviously knows far more nobles than I do. Uh, it does seem familiar. The, no, the last name you... seems more familiar. Kessler. Why does that one sound familiar? Oh, hang on. Isn't Kessler the dodgy dude in the guards? Yes. Kessler is the name of the people who fed you in the very first episode on the way into his right. The ones that, uh, a little ones bit of flesh. liquid rises in the back of your throat there, Johan. Sorry? It's the people who a fed us in the first episode. If you remember being fed in the first episode. You know, the well, human you know, flesh. Uh, the <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the Johan ate. Yeah, that was a bad she's been, she's been seen here. No. No, I think your manservant's having you on. Uh, oh, God, you. what's happening to me? Oh, I've, I'm talking too much like humans. Apologies. Uh, uh, she, spent too much time come back, can you ask her to contact uh, me, God's son? She, she's and never been here. He, he writes it down and gives it to you. Thank you. 
Um, but as we've said, she's never been here. So the chances of us having to contact you are very low. Maybe yeah, maybe we should be asking him if he's part of a flesh-eating cult. <laughs> Check. Well, yeah, it's... it's uh... Are you from should the I Evan come back Blade? tomorrow? Are you no. from the Ebon Blade? Am I? No. Okay. Well, what is this off. Ebon Blade? Nothing. Thank you for coming. Sigmar, tell me. Just, yeah, no. <laughs> He does reach inside his coat. It is a very, very fine coat as well. My axe is still ready because of I was what was say earlier. <laughs> my handle kind of drifted pistol. Yeah, yeah. We, Hammer's, we, Hammerzite comes up onto Hagen's shoulder. Ilmarin, okay. remember, he's, remember his noble etiquette is obviously... At the sight of Hammerzite coming up, yeah, and, and the, the dwarf looking a little bit tasty as well. He does step back. And he sort of lowers his head towards the street and he, he sort of has this thing where he pulls his coat back. Yeah. And as he pulls it back, you notice that he has the most elaborately beautiful um, holster Tail. on the side. <laughs> and co- coming, coming out from it is, Johan, it, it is simply one of the most beautiful guns you've ever seen. Yeah. And, on the handle of the gun, it's golden and it's got like an engraved inlaid with some white, maybe ivory or something. Yeah, and it, it looks like um, a a like a succubus on on his gun. Well, if we he's... kill him, we can have it. We can have it. If, if you move I do to not draw... come here to cause trouble. <laughs> and he's as he's sort of standing there, his hand is near his gun, and. The middle of the finger is twitching ever so slightly like that as he, as he gets near to his gun. If you draw yeah. on us, we will fight until you are dead. I if you have no intention drew, to... I was not the one who drew weapons. When I draw... Can, can we all just please for keeps. calm down? God, can we... <laughs> please. You can lower Hammerzite, you can lower your talking axe. Look... We've had a very long, very trying day. Quite frankly, the elf in me is saying I need to show you etiquette, but the very tired, wounded part of me just tells you to bugger off, as you humans say. So please, she's not here. She's never been here. We don't know who she is. Now, with all the reverence of a lord and lady and so on and so forth, please make your way back to wherever it is you came from and tell your manservants to stop lying to you. And he sort of slowly walks backwards down the down the street. Hey, up. I think he'd been thinking with his other man. He servant. sort of stumbles as, on the cobbles, but he manages to keep himself quite sort of ready. And he, he, he sort of seems to keep his cool, even like his legs, even though his legs buckle a couple of times. <laughs> Umaran just closes the door. Yeah, probably, <laughs> the probably for the best that we just close the door and and, <laughs> and bolt it. <laughs> and Imaran goes, I, I genuinely, this has been the most unusual day. I mean, and, and, and we've, we've had a lot in, of unusual days. We've yeah. been sucked into the realm of chaos, and somehow oh. this is the most unusual day to where we were, Hagen. Um, yes, you burst into the temple of Sharla. I knew for a fact it wasn't you. I knew it was going to be one of those changeling things that we've met multiple times. Turns out it was a rat beastman, as you would like to say, disguised with an illusionary spell. Um, they were trying to convince us to go to the underground, I'm guessing, to take us prisoner alongside our dear friends who are missing. Well, weren't, the, weren't the Skaven working with the Ebon Blade and not the champion of Nurgle? Well, it was no, a bit no, of... No, I thought the Skaven was working with, them, working with the, the Nurgle... The, the, the Nurgle. Guy. It was a bit of both. There seems to be two sects, one helping the uh, Ebon Blade and one serving the Nurgle Master. Um, have you actually seen them working with the Ebon uh, Blade? I don't remember it. Yes, That's, we have. Yeah, yeah, he did, yeah, because Malleus had two uh, uh, Storm Vermin with him. What? And, Who? Or the uh, uh, the Ebon Blade guy when we were down in the sewers. Had no, he had, ogres, no, he had but, ogres. Oh, he had Ogres, but, That's right. But that's right. inside the 
Ebon Blade area, there was like Skaven-y bits and pieces, and we know that they've got Skaven tech and stuff yeah, like that. Supposedly, so. they was because they were breaking into it and doing stuff. I don't know. Yeah, I thought they like, nicked it. It was like they nicked it from the also, Skaven didn't, or something. Didn't didn't they say I think, that? I was... think you're right. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm pretty sure that the Chaos well, Champion. Well, that was what the Chaos said. guy said. The Chaos said Ca- that... Guy Champion said that there was two sects or something like that. I'm sure there's somewhere mm-hmm. at some point it's come up. I'm sure remember. there is one group of I don't of Skaven... remember, and I'm not particularly inclined to trust a single fucking word. <laughs> so I was going to say the same that. thing, yeah. Yeah, Hostile it's not done mess. so well. It's true, it it's true. Like he's told us the truth about anything so far. No, none so far. Um, so, yeah, so, yeah, Hagen, we promptly dispatched you in the street. Um, as, as, say, as you should. Pretty good I, that's how you know it wasn't Hagen. Yeah, I was going to say. Well, that, that's what I said. I, You know, when I was able to dodge his strike and deal with him quite ably... I knew straight away. I mean, I already knew it wasn't Hagen, but that just proved that it wasn't Hagen because Hagen would have squashed me with his hammer. I don't know, Elmar, and you're becoming quite the swordsman. Well, I like to say I handled myself quite well back there, but Mordek helped. Well, Mordek's axe is never in doubt. Uh... Oh. <laughs> As you're standing in the tavern, you feel an explosion but there isn't a bang or anything. It's just silence, almost like a shockwave. Oh, and <laughs> oh no, he got anybody out. Anybody with any sort of faith and mm-hmm. Ilmarin, yeah. Send me and Carolyn. Seconds, <laughs> the second you feel parted from the actual essence of this place where you've grew up and been born into and everything and you feel very lonely just for seconds and then you're back into the room like a shudder up the spine uh, when you say more anyone deck, with faith you mean anyone and, that and, and, and yeah and you also feel it, it, it has knocked everybody to the off their feet to, to, to the knees or whatever and yeah it it Hagen and Carolyn and Elmar, you, you feel very, very sick, but only for, again, a matter of seconds, as you're, you feel your stomach sort of turn upside down. It was some, for you, Elmar, it, it was some big magical effect. Oh, it was magic. By Ulrich's frozen breath, what have we stumbled into here? I am of two minds to go get my horse and ride it straight out the gate. We can't we can't abandon the city in its need. If no one else will recognize the danger, we have to stand against it. I don't but know if you've you noticed. Really outdoor fork. No, not really. So. <laughs> no, no, I, 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 put it, yeah, I was about to say, are there characters can start? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. Our, our next group. What do start. you do, group? Well, we ride into a town, let it get fucked up, and then ride off. <laughs> <laughs> Seems uh, to be I mean, the pattern. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we left Ubersreich in in. Uh, yeah, the Bretonians were attacking, and <laughs> yes. Um, so I, I feel I, I don't feel that we are even remotely equipped to fight an entire city, Hagen. I mean, you may feel confident in that, um, but Mordek here, he went for a bit of healing. And uh, came away a bit more banged up than he went in. Well, yeah, I think fine. I'll be fine after a good night's sleep. We've got to. I, we've got tells to me we're not going to get a good night's sleep. Is be happening. <laughs> yes. We've got to get back to the Lady Notch and make her listen to us. She knows us. She's traveled with us. We saved her life numerous times. And then Mordek turned into a living boulder and went through her door. I don't hey, know if she trusted... I thought there was genuine risk to life that that the manling, uh, womanly, <laughs> be uh, still manling. Okay, that manling still be in great danger by a would be husband to be or something else. Well, it was dodgy. We, we'll have to try again to make her listen, to make her understand the risk to the city. I mean. What the hell was the thing that just happened? Magic. That's all I can tell Everything you. Everything has gone really, really cold. Really cold. As though you. 
Carolyn has not yet stood up, I don't think. She's oh, holding her... She's gone really, really, she's holding really her, her, um, uh, what, what, what she's told you is supposed to be a wolf. Um... <laughs> You are getting you are getting that some is... um, warmth from that as you holding on to your your holy symbol. That part of your uh, um, more that you've still got hold of your axe, and you almost notice that your hand has started to stick to the axe itself. Oosh. Can you see ice? Is there like frost? Yeah, there's, there's there's there is ice forming on the windows and. Yeah, you know, it, it, it looks like you've I just stepped into the, the middle window. of winter. Go look out the window. The... Can Ilmarin feel the type of magic it might have been? What wind of magic it may have come from? Ooh. Does it feel, say for argument's sake, like Shaiish, the wind of death? Um, magic it was, it does originate from elsewhere so it could have been like that yes I fear my friends were in more trouble than uh, that even we and our brave brave hearts can handle when are we never not in more trouble than we can handle well wh what's our plan do I see anything out the window <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's just that, that, that you can still see movement of people, but it does look like there's a frost on the ground. Um, a couple of people are sort of, yeah, moving around, but yeah, stumbling around quite a little bit. Maybe pissed up or, you know, they had a good night. And you see, there's a couple of people running from, you know, house to house and, you know, coming out of the, the buildings and sort of looking around, same as you are almost, like what's going on. Well, but there's no signs of like any kind of combat or anything. No. If in doubt, protect the lady. That was always our first mission. If that was what if we, we must, to do. if we must fall back to a to a defensible position, we still must protect the lady. Okay. Morgan, the house that Lady Nat was in. It did look like it'd be very defendable. It, you know, once you're inside, it was, you know, the, 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 like I said, the level of um, construction inside was pretty poor. But on the, you know, it, it was quite a well built house from the outside. So the outer walls and the gated sort of area and the walled area was, uh, you know, it did look quite, you know. It'd it certainly be a defensible position if it all goes a bit tits up. Probably more than our inn is right now, right? Well, at this point, I think yes that we will. We need to gather our things and that's if she be having us. And Gunther, and we need to return and make our case and lay out all the evidence we have to both her and her fiance. How However, I would suggest Mordex stays outside while we do. I that. I, I agree, but. I would be thinking that a lot of this danger seems to be orientated about us and ours and not Milady. If we go over yonder to that uh, lady's house, we might just be bringing the danger with us. Well, I think the danger is to Middenheim, and I think it's focused on us at this point because we're the only ones standing against it. That's why we have to rouse allies to our cause. Mordek, we are the light in the dark, my friend. Right, let's be having it then. Wins a couple of sword fights and gets a big cat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you wait. <laughs> Good dying about five minutes. <laughs> so, uh, with the next four tricks of Felix. <laughs> okay, so I take you making your way to Lady Nights out. Um, yeah, I'm sure it's going to go down really yeah. well at like 11 o'clock at night, banging on their and door. And I think <laughs> given it's 10 now, that might yeah. be a reasonable place to stop. Unless oh, have... blimey, yeah, that's shot by. You yeah. leave the tavern and we shall leave it there. Okay. 
<laughs> I imagine there was like a small like equipment montage as we were like laying out like you know <laughs> arrows going into quivers and bows being stretched yeah. and bullets be loaded into pistols and prayers being said and hammers being sort of swung in an arc and <laughs> being too weirdly. What you didn't know is while Johan was building that door up and then graving everything. He has stuck a bit of a handle on the back, and it's like it serves as a door shield. It counts as a tool shield. <laughs> He's got a little, little sort of flap in it that he can poke. <laughs> the, the, yeah, yeah, the letterbox. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Poke. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to leave it there, guys. Thank you for joining us again. Um, um, things are going to heat up. I would have thought before Christmas. <laughs> See where I'm not getting. sure heat up to quite uh, the right word. <laughs> I am going to talk to the group when we go offline tonight and just quickly regarding um, I think I think we should it, it'll just take us beyond Christmas what we've got left um, but I'd like to run some form of Christmas special or something so uh, yeah um, using you know the same car we, we could we can have a, a bit of a uh, side mission going on but, just, uh, just in the middle of a fight suddenly we'll just yeah. cut to <laughs> Absolutely. We're all saved by Santa Claus. No, no, it'll just be, <laughs> just be a completely different thing. There'll be no connection to, to what had been going on before. We'll just have this... this... Yeah. It, it'll, oh, be the, it'll be our we'll, origin we'll, story. We'll Night the before story Sigma Tag. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> old Father Nurgle coming down the chimney. Um, oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> with gifts of life. Um, but, yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Um uh, Please, if you've not already, join us on uh, Discord, Godlike Games. Um, we've got lots of things happening this week. Uh, tomorrow night, Thursday. What's going on Thursday night, guys? Anybody? I don't know. No, there's uh, nothing going on Thursday night because it's Thanksgiving here in the States. So Delta Green will not be on this week. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, I know Friday there, there's a final, Star Wars. Uh, fa Fantasy Flight game, Star Wars. Um, and I know that a couple of us were involved in that, so um, look forward to joining us then if you're if you're into Star Wars at all. And uh, yeah, we've got lots of things happening at the moment. Um, Is on it Mondays. Star Trek on Thursdays? Oh, it could be Star Trek, but I, I think it. Well, it, who yeah, was so it, 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 to be honest, at this point, I think we should probably. I mean, just, just let go on Pete Discord just and pop the out. thing up at the <laughs> yeah. end of the video because this yeah, is so much waffle. Yeah, there's lots going on anyway. Uh, but please join us. I Thank you for joining us that, tonight. So I can just flash it up uh, at the end of the end of the stream. Yeah. That would make sense. Uh, we we'll look forward to joining you next week, or you joining us, should I say? And, and thank you very much. Uh, We're missing our gruesome and bloody demise. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, thank you to my players. Thank you, you guys, for watching, and we'll see you next week. Thanks, Jim. Bye. Bye. bye.